there we go. We're finally online. Um, welcome everybody to the new series of Let's Play Gothic! And it starts a new era where Murta attempts to play a lot more old games. Currently I have access to most of Final Fantasy series, most of Ultima series, and all of Elder Scrolls series, including spin-offs. So yeah! We're gonna press new game, and I'm probably gonna struggle with the controls quite a bit. But we're just gonna pray that the cutscene plays okay. Do not move. Do not move. The kingdom of Murtana, united by King Robar II. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. Against the orcs took its toll, and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army, and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinus. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. I was one of them. Uh, something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. One second of negligence was enough for the prisoners. Corinus was now under the control of the convicts. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed. Month after month, they brought the ore to the edge of the barrier in exchange. Until the present day, another convict was brought Did to- Did they the also require hookers? But he would change everything. Because it looked like they were providing a hooker. Robar the second, bearer of the scepter of Verant, I sentence this convict to... Stop. Convict, I've got an offer to make you. This letter must reach the leader of the Magicians of Fire. You're wasting your time. You may choose your own reward. They'll give you anything you ask for. Very well. I'll take your letter. On one condition. Spare me the rest of his nonsense. How dare Keep you. silent. Right. Send him in. How dare you keep silent. Ah. Oh, so when you're sending supplies, you're careful with it. When you're sending a messenger, you just throw it in. Welcome to the colony. That's enough. Leave him alone. And now, scram. Get up. The reason I'm why I'm not doing a pre-stream warm-up, by the way... Interested oh, God! You what? You've just arrived. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't... Did it decide to skip? Because this is... Well, what do you think? This is one of the issues with um, being able to tab out in this game. It will start going through options like these like crazy. I want to make sure that I'm not streaming my mouse cursor. I'm not. That's... that's good. Wait, wait. Oh, I am. I am. Um, let's not stream the mouse cursor. For that is a bit, um... Picky outy of gamey. Ah, there we go. Now we're not streaming the mouse cursor. 
But yeah, I do not do pre-stream um, warm-ups because uh, any people that missed the start can just watch the video on YouTube because I am streaming to YouTube too. Um, there we go. We can now actually navigate the options. What do I need to know about this place? It seems like exposition for someone like me that has absolutely not a friggin' shit about what they're doing is, is probably a smart okay, thing. Okay, what do I need to know about this place? We call it the Colony. You'll know already that we produce ore for the King. Well, at least we do, in the Old Camp. There are three camps within the barrier. The Old Camp is the biggest, and it was the first. I am very thankful that you are voiced, mister that's standing in front of me. This game was old enough to not have voice actors, for I believe Morrowind does not and Morrowind came out later. Um... Why did you help me? Why did you help me? Because you needed help. Otherwise, oh. Bullet and his boys might have killed you. Oh, you nice! just stand by and watch, because I came all this way to make a suggestion. Ooh. A suggestion? Yes. After this little incident with Bullet and his guys, you should be aware now that you need protection. Everyone who arrives here has a choice. There are three camps in the colony, and you'll have to join one of them. I'm here to show the new ones that the old camp is the best place for them. So, essentially, you must join an order. Uh, to, to be fair, I don't know why they're still sending prisoners down there. It seems like a pretty cozy place. It's like you get employment for life and they give you everything that you want in exchange. That sounds pretty awesome, actually. Um, I have a, a letter for a High Magician of the Circle of Fire. I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Really? I was given it by a mage shortly before they threw me in here. You're lucky I can't afford to show my face around the mages anymore. Anyone else would gladly slit your throat for that letter. That's because the mages pay their couriers a lot, and most people here don't have anything. If I were you, I'd <laughs> shut up until I met one of the mages. Although in your situation, that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle in the old camp. Only Gomez's people are allowed to enter the castle. Okay, let's let's ask what's a gonas, but it sounds like I could just join the old camp, have a fairly cushy life, in exchange for mining. That kind of suits me just fine, actually. Fuck the mages and fuck the letter. Who's Gomez? Gomez is the most powerful ore baron. He's the boss of the old camp, the most powerful man in the colony. Um, how do I get to the old camp? How do I get to the old camp? You just follow this path. The old camp is the next reasonably safe looking place you'll come across. There are a lot of wild beasts between the camps. You'd be mad to walk around without a weapon. Will, will you give me one? Um, let's say I want to join Gomez. How do I do let's that? Let's assume I want to join his people. What do I need to do? At the gate of the castle, you'll find a man called Thoris. Tell him Diego sent you. Where do I get a weapon? Do you have one? Where do I get a weapon? When you get to the old mine, have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something useful. The mine is easy to find. It's just a few meters along the canyon. What counts as a canyon? Where's Bullet now? Let's he ask and the that others question. bring the goods from the outside world into the camp. You'll find him there. But if you plan to fight him, be careful. He's an experienced warrior. No, I want nothing to do with him. I'm asking where he Thanks is so that help. I can just not we'll be in meet the same in the place. Old camp. Before we have any looks around, we are gonna save game. Because if we don't do that, we would need to repeat a whole cutscene and the whole conversation. So, um... Session 1. Now, now, because I am careful, it, it exists. Good. Journal. Um, okay, my key bindings work. I bind it like the MMO that I was playing, actually. 
That's current missions. General info. Apparently, I don't have anything. Be allowed to join. Gamma says, people in the old camp, I need to see... Totos? <laughs> Thetos? <laughs> I'm bad. I'm... I... Reading is hard, especially when... My ability to see is not the best. This, this is in 720p, by the way. It, it suits me just fine, but reading is actually difficult. Ah, oh, Thoris. So he's not just a male thought. Okay. Um. Anything useful? Ah! Not, not to get stuck into a box? What? Is that like a spell that I got? What? Am I not allowed to be here or is this place like making me all magically and pretty and- Ooh. Um. I knew how to pick things up. And I probably could. I know that attacking is fairly odd. Action? How does one pick things up? Oh. I picked things up? Control and V. Control and V does it. That's just my weapon because I have nothing, I have nothing. Wait, where did the torch go? Currently the game doesn't know that I have a mouse. Which is okay, I don't mind using control and weirdness. But I swear I just swallowed that. Or it's not in my inventory slots. Or is that just the weapons? Ah! Ooh. Ooh! Okay! Yeah! Tabs and shit! Um... What happens if I actually want to use something in my inventory? Let's see, could I not just like... Oh! Um, how do I put it away now? <laughs> uh, um, I, I, I can see this control scheme really, um... Oh god. Okay, you, you just... You hold on to it, why not? Have fun! Running like this. I would just like to put it back into my pocket, but I don't know how to do this. Coming through with fire! Fire making its way! Um. Torch? I killed I killed a bug, that's an achievement, right? Thanks. Thanks, Torch. <laughs> Ooh. Arrow. Mine. Oh! Yeah, I suppose that's reasonable. Meat bugs should have some meat on it, right? Yes. How do I... How do I take this?
Meet the other meat bug, please like stand by. I'm trying to look a meat meat bug right now. Uh Action left. Action right. Action right was the right thing. Um It does not help me with putting away this torch, but I'll I'll keep hold of it. Because with anything that's like a single object, it's like action forward. Except when I'm not like standing right in front of it and then I just hop forward like a retard. Ooh 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 ooh. Yeah. How is a tumbler? Was that all that was in that chest? Eh! It does not want to take it! What a silly man! Suppose we're just gonna leave that alone. Do we have the beer bottle? Oh, we, we did take the coin. That's nice. And yeah, we did take the beer. Ah, should consider using that at some point. This is where Marta saves comes, because picking all that shit up was kind of difficult. Thank you. Ooh! That might just count as a weapon. I wonder how much coins did that chest have? things with it. Yes. Go and do things in front of this thing. Oh my god, we actually killed something. Amazing. Rusty, but I'll have it. Ooh. Control and shift. God, it it likes a lot of buttons, doesn't it? Loves all them buttons. Well, this place is closed. That's okay, because we killed something that looked really disgusting and took a sword of it. So actually, what else is in this direction? At some point, we're gonna arrive at the old camp. Before that, I will probably run into literally everything that I don't want to run into. A pot. Mine! Everything is mine. One nugget. The, the the strategy to literally any RPG is to hoard things until you run out of inventory space. Then consider throwing things on the floor. Up until that, even the littlest piece of shit, somebody might want it and you might get a quest for like, bring me a dozen eggs or 50 feathers or something. And then you're like, I already have 23 in my pocket, or I'll be literally looting everything that I ran across. I want to save again because the thing that I can see in the distance looks a bit more dangerous. Ooh. 
then pick up everything! Um... I know that I can strafe and that one is dodge, but it might take me a while to master things. Okay, that wasn't as dangerous as I thought it's gonna be. Yeah, that probably smart not to steal. Um, considering that that might make somebody else really angry. Fine. Silly people leaving their arrows in the tree. Do you not know that I'm just... The silly controls don't letting me pick arrows from the tree. There we go. Never know when you're gonna need some arrows. And berries. In case we ever starve. Ah! Old sword sounds better than rusty one, so I want it. If this game has like... No weapon decay? I will be very surprised because it's giving me shit tons. Um, meat is mine. Oh, you never know when you're gonna be in a dark place. Well, I seem to now have really big difficulty getting my torch back. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's the proper coloration of blueberries. Totally not weird. <laughs> Having the sun out and the torch out makes the sky really bright. Pick up some leaves. Oh, so far I'm pretty sure that I couldn't have... Uh, oh, damn you, character. Pretty sure that I couldn't have missed the old camp because this path has been very straight. There's a town of some sort in there, which is once again very weird how they're like... Oh yeah, this is, you know, a criminal colony. It's like your criminals are living... Awesome lives! You should start sending regular citizens there. I'm pretty sure they're gonna appreciate it. I am now seeing humans. I do not want to aggro an accidental human, so let me save. Hey, you. Hello. I want? I want to warn you. If you continue this way, you'll be entering our hunting ground. What do you hunt? What do you hunt? Mostly scavengers. There's a lot of meat on them. Besides, it ain't too hard to get them. Once you know how. Really? How's that? Ask my friend Drax here. He knows more about these things than anyone. Than anyone? Why is this area so dangerous? You've just arrived, haven't you? There are different areas in this colony which are all more or less dangerous. The paths between the camps are quite safe, but even there you might come across some wolves which look on you as uh, easy prey. And that's yeah, exactly got what it. you are until you get a proper weapon and armor. Proper weapon armor. What's the thing that I forgot to start actually? God damn me brain. But thankfully, I managed to fix the thing that prevents me from tabbing out of games. How amazing is that? Um, so, back back to Gothic. Something something weapons and armor. How do I get better equipment? I've been, I've been picking literally everything up. The nearest place is that old camp. Just follow the path that brought you here. But you can get the stuff cheaper in our new camp, provided you know the right people. If you go to the old camp, ask for more drag. He's one of us. For just a little ore, he'll sell you the proper goods. That's cool. Um, follow the path that got you here. 
That path is going that way. And you just told me that that's your hunting ground, mate. <laughs> Mert has lost. No surprise to anyone, honestly. I'm, I'm completely cool with that. Yeah, um... That's just how old games go. Does this guy know anything about restoring health? That would be something that would be very nice to know, because I seem to be able to hit birds with pickaxes great, but I also get hit. Yeah, tell me more about the areas of the colony, tell me why more not? more about the areas of the colony. If you travel between the camps, you'll need a map to distinguish paths and dead ends. I agree. Dead ends often lead you to dangerous canyons where you encounter creatures you'd better avoid. Do not enter the old ruins. There are too many around here, and most of them are old fortifications dating back to the time of the first orc war. Yes, sir, sir. And in orc dwellings. There are often orcs in those ruins, or even worse creatures. I'd avoid those places, especially at night. And one more hint, don't go into the forest. I'll... either the game will bring it at me at restoring health at some point, or somebody will tell me. So it's it's okay. I don't need to know, like, right this second. That being said, that sounded like, do not go to dangerous areas until you're high enough level because there's some cool loot in there. Yeah, where do I get a map? Do you have one on you? Where do I get a map? Ask the people in the old camp. There's a cartographer oh, living God there. Damn it. Everything's in the old camp! His maps. If you manage to do it, take one from me as well. Doesn't he sell maps? Yeah, that is a good Doesn't question. Doesn't he sell the maps? If you get enough ore to pay for them. New follower. Oh, thank New you. Follower. Uh, my, my thing sometimes goes off twice to ignore that. Um, well, thanks for your help. I got one ore thanks piece. For your help. So, Don't like, go thinking everyone's going to be so friendly, kid. That's why I saved right in front of you. Pockets, but some folks would even beat you up for a pickaxe. I'll keep it in mind. I'll pretend that I don't have it then. Ignore that pickaxe on the back of me. I just have a torch. Yeah, see how he's all like, don't go to my hunting ground. And for the old camp, just... Oh, maybe his hunting ground is that way. Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> or rather follow the singular of the road that goes into a straight line, which is quite useful. That bird can continue doing birdie stuff unless it gets too interested in us. Okay, so there's like a dude over there. There is a potential for civilization that way. Actually, it looks very... It looks like there might be a bridge that way. True! It did say, like, ask my mate for hunting tips and everything. You don't mean- you don't mind me passing right? Yeah. I know that there is a talk button, but I'm just gonna assume that anyone that, like, really objects me in going in any direction will either tell me or, like, attack me outright. Ooh. Did I? Okay! Is it wrong way? Ah, uh, but then I need to know my keybinds, dude. That actually requires having a brain. Talk, there was a speak. Eh? I swear that was sneak. I suppose I can't sneak. There is just speak. Suits me just right. Um, I me pass. No. Oh. Me pass. Oh. <laughs> that is so bizarre. Have you got any advice for me? Yeah, don't go in the forest on your own, unless you're strong enough to fight off all the beasts. Ooh, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? 
What's it look like? Regarding the bridge, of course. <laughs> we make sure that no beasts cross the bridge. I thought you were just standing here. Make sure you get to the old camp. They're holding a pickaxe for you. <laughs> Let me pass. What? <laughs> They're holding a pickaxe for you. Hee <laughs> hee. Let me pass. Oh, oh, do you have anything to add? No, no. You're the silent type. <laughs> well, they do seem very fond of that. <laughs> Is this the old camp? It looks very castle-y like. It looks like it could be civilization. Hello, folks! Did I encounter civilization? Where do you think you're going? To the camp. You ain't come to make trouble, have you? Is there like an answer that goes, Yes, I came to make trouble? Um, yeah, I just... <laughs> I plan to take on the whole camp. That would be such a bad idea. Uh, Diego told me to Diego come says here. I'm to meet him in the camp. Okay, in you go then. Any news? Any news? Nah, everything's the same as ever. So really, this isn't much of a prison camp. This is more of a, um, their own country that exports, exports ore. <sighs> Wait, your name's Shadow? There must be something about that story after all. Your 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 literal name is Shadow. Hi. Hi. What do you want? I think I'm in your personal space. I hope you do not mind. As long as I'm not as you people. Yeah, what, what people should, should I should I know? Here? If you get into any trouble with the guards, go and see Gravo. <laughs> You'll find him at the bathing place near the castle gate. He deals with guys who get into trouble. It happens quicker than you'd expect, especially to newcomers. I think I blanked out whatever you just said. I think that's okay. Yeah, I did see the intro cinematic. It's just that... Like... They made a whole country here, but they're still sending their criminals down here as, like, punishment. But to me, it just sounds like it's employment. What the hell is a shadow? I don't want to say I want to be a shadow. What can you tell me about the camp? I guess the most interesting part of it is the marketplace. If you're looking for anything in particular, that's the place to go. It's the place under the large roof, south of the outer ring. Um, where can I find? Let's ask for both. Where can I find Thoris? He usually stands at the castle entrance. And where can I find Diego? Where can I find Diego? During the day, he's usually at the castle entrance with Thoris. That's very convenient. Could I? Could you also tell me where the cartographer is? Ooh. Yeah, that sounds kind of awesome arrangement. This is the first time that the. Hey, you! Oh, you mean you don't like me walking into your house? I'm so sorry, sir. I just saw a doorless thing and I was like, that seems interesting. Let me explore. Oh! You, Diego? What about the two other camps? What about the two other camps? The two other camps split up to pursue their crazy escape plans. There's the new camp in the west of the colony, where the mages think they can just detonate the barrier as soon as they've scraped enough ore together. And then there's the sect loonies in the east. Their camp is in the middle of the swamp, and they're praying to their idol to set them free. He hasn't responded so far. If I were you, I wouldn't waste my time on those madcaps. 
Sounds like the music's issue. It may have gotten stuck. It's hard for me to hear it, so it just sounds like pleasant ambience from here. I swear I'm not deaf. Um, to loony people, the swamp people sound like a great bunch to explore at some point when I, you know, can protect myself. Because that sounds like they're worshipping some sort of very weird deity, so I want to see. The explosive people sound like they're gonna explode themselves, so I don't really want to touch that. Tell me more about the barrier. There isn't much to tell. It's impenetrable. What happens if I just walk out of here? The last one who tried that reached the other side a dead man. This damn barrier lets you in, but you'll never get out of here. If there's a way out, I'll find it. You're already in a rush to get out of here? But you've only just arrived. Tell me something about the old camp. It's the biggest and most powerful of the three camps. Gomez and his guys control the camp and thereby the whole ore trade. Once a month, the king sends us everything we need. We've got the old guy in our grip, you understand? He sends us wine, bread, meat, weapons, everything. You have you so much that there's some. like spread out wine and shit Gomez's on the road. Take care. Okay, so that was Diego, and they told me that there's a dude that hangs out. Yeah, you! The one that I accidentally called Thotos at one point. I'm so sorry, dude. Uh. Uh. Oh, wrong button. Sorry. I want to work for Gomez. For Gomez. Oh, yeah. And what makes you think Gomez will be interested in having you work for him? I don't know. Does he require noobs? Um. Uh, why don't you test me? Why don't you give me the test? It ain't that easy, kid. Any newcomer who wants to get anywhere needs a patron. That patron has to be one of Gomez's people. He'll test you, and if you fail, you're his responsibility. That's the law around here. Ooh. Yeah, at the moment, this game does not recognize my mouse. I got it working without mouse support. Uh, okay, so what I have to do is I have to find the patron, right? It sounds to me like it might also be a good idea to find the way... To find the hut. Um, Diego, by any chance... No, you're, you're just like, I'm done speaking with you, dude. Can I just enter your house? Can I use your bed? Yes, I can! Yeah, sure, let's just sleep until morning. Aww, I feel so much better! It doesn't feel as bad as I thought it would. Who the hell are you? I am new here. I am new here. Just arrived, have you? I'm Grim. I haven't been here for long either. I was thrown in with the load before you. What's life like here? Easy going. As long as you pay your share of protection money to the guards. Protection money. What do I have to do if I want to get admitted to this camp? Well, first of all, you have to become a shadow. Therefore, you have to find somebody who supports you, somebody who explains everything to you, and takes responsibility for it. Oh, so I should but approach a shadow! I try to keep close to Diego. I did it like that. He's quite all right. He'll make you take the test of faith. That's different from everybody. Then there'll be some other smaller tasks from other shadows. 
If you manage them, you'll be with us. What was your test of faith? I can't tell you, man. You have to be silent about things like that here. Um... Diego, why don't you want to speak with me? That dude said that you'll help me. I I want to become a camp member, Diego. And Take you're care. just like, no! No! <laughs> um... I am once again in your personal space. This seems like a very uncomfortable way to have a conversation. I'd like to join the shadows. Oh. Then you should know that Gomez doesn't tolerate failures. If you want to be one of us, you have to be prepared to go through fire for him. Only half of those who tried ever got accepted. What happened to the rest of them? They're probably Died. sitting in the new camp munching rice. Oh! <laughs> Oh, so I always have the chance to just go and join the crazy dudes. Good to know. Uh, how's it going? <laughs> how's it going? What do you want? I wanted to ask you how is it going. Um... Who's the boss of this place? Diego's what you might call the head of the shadows. But Thoris decides who gets to see Gomez. Where can I find? I want to know what this camp has to offer. Then you better ask the diggers. They don't have anything to do all day anyway. That sounds like it can offer some digging. Do you have anything new to say? Diego says you decide who Gomez is interested in. Huh? If Diego thinks you're okay, why doesn't he take care of you? Look, let me explain. Diego's gonna test you. If he thinks you're good enough, I'll let you into the castle to see Gomez. Whatever happens after that is up to you, okay? I'll talk to Diego. I, I wish we were smart enough to, you know, talk to Diego beforehand. I've talked to Thoris. And what did he say? He says that I can join the old camp if you think that I'm good enough. Looks like I have myself a new job. Do we start right now? First, there are a few things you should know. Money, cartographer, armor, place to sleep. What do I have to know to be accepted in the old camp? If you want to join the camp, you'll have to earn some brownie points. There are a few oh, influential people in the outer ring. Most of them are shadows. If you manage to impress them, it'll earn you a few brownie points. Then you'll have to stand the test of faith. Besides, there are a lot of skills every new arrival has to learn. The more you learn, the more valuable you'll be for us. Oh, so you're just telling me to go off and do the side quests? Um, any of your buddies need any help? Where do I find the important people? Well, you're looking at one of them. Then there's Thoris. You already know him. As for the others, you'll have to find that out by yourself. If you don't manage to do that, you don't belong here anyway. Just go through the outer ring and talk to people. Then you'll find out who's important. <laughs> okay, this is I can just talk to people. Who can teach me? Start with Fingers. He's the most skillful among us. If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find other people who can teach you. Where can I find Fingers? His hut's kind of hidden. It's next to the castle wall. Just start out here and go towards the arena. The arena. When you're at the castle gate, go down to the left and you'll be heading for the arena. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Great direction. Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. I like strength. That wasn't very clever. That won't happen again. I can't teach you anything. You don't have enough experience. No! No! Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. I agree. 
What about my esteem within the camp? I've talked to a few people. And? Get on with it. There are still many things to do if you want to get anywhere here in the camp. Okay. What's the test of faith? You have to go to the old mine. There you'll meet a guy called Ian. He'll give you a list. This list is important. It contains all the items the guys in the mine need from us. They'll get the stuff with the next convoy. No problem. Yes, there is a problem. The new camp must not get that list. Like I said, the list is important. If you do it right, you'll get much further. So is the test of faith just delivering a list? There was a time when things would have gone very differently. If the list is so important, why should Ian give it to me? That's a great question. Because you're going to tell him Diego sent you. I'll tell him. <laughs> Where can I find the old mine? Go to Graham. He's a cartographer. Tell him that I sent you and that you need a map. It'll show you the way to the mine. He lives to the left of the north gate. North! What's north? Take care. Um, well, I, I know what directionals are. I am just pretty bad. However, this path should lead me towards the arena. So there should be fingers around this path as well. I understand left and I understand hey, right. Hey, man. New here? I haven't seen you before. I'll join you for a while. If you don't mind, I'm sure you'll need a friend. Uh... Oh. Get lost. You're not in a good mood today, are you? I better come with you. Tell me, where are we going? Or is it supposed to be a surprise? I like surprises. Why are you following me? How's things? Not bad. If you can cook well, you have many friends here. <laughs> Would you like some of my rice stew? Thanks. You could do me a favor. How can I help you? What can I do for you? You must be used to good food. I have a new recipe. Meat bug ragu a la snaff with rice and mushrooms. You can have as much as you want, but I still need three meat bugs and some hell mushrooms. Five should be enough. Uh, sounds good. Did we ever see any mushrooms? Sounds good. Then go and see you get me the things. The last one I sent just hasn't come back. Must have deserted to the new camp. Yeah, there we go. Questions that I care about. Yeah, like, why is that guy following me? I do not understand. I told him to, like, go away. <laughs> Where can I find hell mushrooms? If you leave through the south gate, that's the collapsed tower. You'll see a plane directly in front of you. There's mushrooms growing there. Oh. Uh, okay. Collapsed towers. I understood collapsed towers. I am gonna be on the lookout for any towers that have collapsed. That solves where south is. <laughs> where can I find meat bugs? Everywhere where there's garbage laying around. You should be able to find some at the deserted huts near the castle wall. Ooh, there's Don't meat get bugs even inside. By their ugly looks. Once cooked, they are tasty. Who was the guy you sent before me? His name was Neck. He was pretty discontented here. I think he's in the new camp now. I sent him to collect mushrooms, but he didn't come back. Yeah, I, if the new camp is like dealing with explosions, I don't really want to deal with the new camp, so don't worry, I'm gonna be pretty loyal. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. Don't pay attention to me, I'll stay with you, don't worry. Why are you even following me? Oh, no, wait, you're Fletcher, not fingers, not fingers. Hey, you. If you want to get rid of your protection money, You've picked the wrong day. <laughs> yeah? Why's that? Cause I'm not here! Let's talk about something else instead. Maybe. 
I see. I see. As long as I'm not involved, there was a time when things would have gone. Let me pass. Don't you have any plan of where you want to go? Yeah, I want to speak with people. Why are you following me around? Okay, so there's a few diggers. And a dude that's just not here. That's a shadow, that's a digger. So all of you do not have names, meaning nobody gives a shit about you. Meaning I don't give a shit about you. That sounds about right, right? Um... That sounds like a hey, nice hook. You. Oh, it's, boy. it's yours. Okay. I don't want to rob anyone. I just... Are you looking for a quiet place where we can talk for a bit or something? I'm looking for fingers. What? Because he interrupts you every three seconds! Uh, you wouldn't speak up for me in front of Diego, would you? Um, I want to become a shadow. I want to become a shadow. So? Can you help me? Can you help me? I wouldn't know how. I'm looking for somebody to teach me something. Why have you come to me? Diego sent me. You should have said that before. If you want to join the camp, it's an advantage to be a good fighter or a thief. If the influential shadows in this camp test you, they'll give you tasks you better not get caught doing. That's why the way of the thief would be a good start to you. Incidentally, I'm the best thief in the whole of the old camp. Um, I don't really want to be a thief though, but what can you teach me? What can you teach me? And that depends on what you want to know. Oh, well, that's a lot of skill points, but... I want to learn how to sneak around. I believe, no false modesty, that I'm one of the best thieves they ever chucked into this colony. But when it comes to teaching how to sneak around, Cavalorn is the better man for you. Okay, so whoever Cavalorn is... Where can I find Cavalorn? He's hunting out in the wild. You'll find him at the path to the new camp. Westwards of the old camp, there's a wide canyon. In this canyon, there's an old woodcutter's hut. You'll find him there. Please repeat that. Where can I find Cavalorn? He's hunting out in the wild. You'll find them at the path to the new camp. Westwards of the old camp, there's a wide canyon. In this canyon, there's an old woodcutter's hut. You'll find him there. Okay, so it's on the path to the new camp. In a canyon. Woodcutter's hut. Got it. You wouldn't speak up for me in front of Diego, would you? Depends. If you demonstrate that you've learned something as a thief, we could make use of you. How am I supposed to do that? Learn a thief's skill. You need to become more skilled in sneaking around, pickpocketing or opening locks. Then you'll have my vote. Okay. So I need at least some thief skills. Got it. Is it possible we're walking in circles? I mean, I don't know where you want to go. I want to hunt some meat bugs. Can you leave me alone? <laughs> uh, they said that there's some around the camp in the abandoned huts, right? Well, all we have to do is find some abandoned huts. There's some meat in there. Um, on top of that... This is real fun. Thanks for taking me with you. We could do that more often. There's loads of more time left today. No! I I wanted to investigate this. There was a time when things Maybe. You're very probably right. Or I can cook. No, I better keep out of it. 
How do I know when things I've are? I've gotten used to you already. We'll have much fun together. I'm sure of that, aren't you? Go die! Anyway, you didn't come to my place, no problem. You're worse than your biggest fan in Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Trying to cook some meat. I I think I just throw things out until they stop making a noise. Why do they put you in here anyway? Do you like animals as well? They're not into that one bit. That's why they locked me in here. Did you shag a sheep? I think he shagged the sheep. Um, we can maybe cook some more when we're not getting followed around by the dumb and dumber. Um. Okay, these shags are not abandoned. At some point, we'll also. There are some people who constantly try to beat me up. Horrible guys from the new camp. Real cutthroats. And next time, I'll tell them that they'll have you to deal with in the future. No! Don't do that! Scared. Don't do that, mate! Um. Collapse towers! Collapse! That's where the mushrooms are! We're gonna. We're gonna save here before mud. mud does anything dumb. There's some diggers. Well, we call him Mud 2 now. That looks like a collapsed tower to me. Ah, new face. Yes! What do you want? I want to offer you help. You're new here and the new ones always get into trouble. You could save yourself a lot by making a small donation. Just 10 ore, man. It ain't much to ask. Um... Here's ten ore, and you'll have to help me if I get into trouble. I don't know if I... Hey, watch who you're trying to fool. Come back when you have the ore. Yeah, I was about to say... ...that I don't have ten ore. I have one ore. That looks like a... ...exit? Well, that looked uh, most definitely like a collapsed tower, if you ask me. So, I think this is like an exit. And if this is the right exit, then we should see field with mushrooms in particular. <gasps> we found them! We found them! Wait. Hell mushrooms. Not, not state spread. How many did we need? Journal. The five hell mushrooms. Three meat, three meat bugs, five mushrooms. Got it. I feel so incredibly clunky with this game. Please don't get mad if it takes me a very, very long while to actually complete it. <laughs> uh, two, three. Uh, four. Four. Uh, five. Uh, five. Uh. Five mushroom move. Okay. <laughs> eh. There's a mushroom right in front of me. God damn it. There we go. In case somebody needs slave steed. Which I I think <laughs> is a mushroom too. I think I have five of them. I think. I can check I suppose. Yeah, I have five. Ooh. Life burners! So I suppose if I eat it, I get health, right? I mean, that's probably how food works. <laughs> I imagine. Hey, you! I don't think I've seen you here before. No wonder. I've only just got here. Then watch out. The outside world is pretty dangerous. 
You're only safe inside a camp. Okay. Thanks, guard. I was just here picking up some mushrooms. Now all I need is to find some abandoned huts. Any of you know where abandoned huts are? This looks like it belongs to somebody, so I don't want to touch stuff that isn't mine. I know that NPCs get pretty angry about me stealing their shit. I don't want to steal shit. Hey, you! You're oh. burning fast. You're yours. Got it. But I swear I heard a creature around here. You would think. You would think that there would be meat bugs. Really? Is that God Haggis? What are you doing here? Me? I'm fighting for the glory of the sleeper. The sleeper? What is the sleeper? You will find priests who will be able to answer that question better than I can in our camp. I'll just tell you this much. The Sleeper is our Redeemer. He has led us to this place, and he'll get us out of here. You mean you're waiting for your God to liberate you? Yes, and the wait will soon be over. A great invocation is currently being prepared. So what you're telling me is that you're one of the crazy swamp people. Could you describe the way to your camp? There are always some novices around here in the old camp, willing to accompany newcomers like you to our camp. You only need to speak to them. So I get a guide to a camp? That's pretty cool. What kind of invocation is it you're planning? Our prophets say, that the common invocation of the sleeper is the key to freedom. If you want to find out more about it, just come to our camp. You fight in the arena? I was sent here from the swamp by my masters to fight for the sleeper. I'll fight here for his higher glory, so all infidels can see how strong his power has made me. Ooh. One day I will meet a guy that will lead you lead me to your camp. But currently I feel like that would be against the better for me. For there is some quests around here and I need to get that letter delivered and everything and this is like the closest place to the letter delivery site. What's your job here? I'm in charge of the arena. I organize the bets, hire new fighters, you know. Uh... I thought the old camp and the new camp didn't get on. So why do you let their people fight here? It's simple. There's fights here once a week, and the diggers always like to see one of the rogues from the new camp get flattened. If one of them fights, there's more bets, and that's good for business. Personally, I can't stand the swines from the new camp, but business is business. Business is business. I want to join the camp. Can you help me? I might be able to, if you manage to impress me. What do you need, bro? Hit me up. from all three camps come here to compete against each other. Challenge one of them to a fight. I'll watch you, and if you're good, maybe I'll think about it. Do you train fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for fun. If you want me to train you, you'll have to pay for it. Oh. That'd be pricey. I'll get that eventually. Guys, have you seen any bugs? I am on the mission to find some bugs. 
or abandoned huts. I swear I was here before, yeah I was. Okay, so you're the cook, right? Right. I think Mud is no longer following me, oh thank god. I wanna explore the other side of this round thing. Or I think there may be some bugs this way. If not, I'll have to follow the yellow brick road all the way back up into the mountains that I came from. Maybe. Which sounds like a very long distance away, so like... If there's any abandoned... shelters with bugs... But keep it to yourself. People don't need to know. Right, instead... I would rather take that path. Yeah. I I thought that it said witless with sex thing. Let's talk about something else. Oh Those bastards from the new camp will be amazed when they get to know that I have a protector. They'll piss themselves. You that caught up! Fun. <laughs> Why did Normally you catch up? People off quickly, but now they'll think twice. Go away! Some people never learn. As long as I'm not involved. Hi! That won't happen again. Hi. I'm new here. What do you want from me? I want to become one of you. I want to join the camp. Looking for people to support you, eh? Yes! If you want me to have a word with Diego about you, you need to do me a favor. Yes, I'm collecting those at the moment. What kind, what do you what want? What kind of want favor do you one want? One of Fisk's weapons. He's one of the traders at the marketplace. He won't sell it to me. It's a broadsword with ornaments. I'll give you 100 ore to collect the weapon for me, but don't tell him about me. Uh, why won't he sell you the weapon? We the had weapon a anymore? little argument. <laughs> and a little. that's all you need to know. Um. <laughs> Let's talk about something else instead. Uh. Did you ever consider that I might Don't just forget, run off with the ore? The colony is small. If you run off with my ore, I'll find you. I would like to be in his shoes, though. Okay, I'll go to the market and get the thing. Where's the market? Okay, give me the hundred ore go. nuggets. I'll get Come the thing. Come straight back to me. There was a time when they should not even marry. Where's the market? You know what? I'll do you a favor. I'll put in a good word for you. Then perhaps you'll be admitted to the camp. Then we can meet every day. I changed my mind that I'm actually going to the new camp to, to join the crazy explosive people as long as it's away from the mud. Hey man, I'm Fisk. I trade goods of all kinds. If you ever need anything, you're in the right place here. I like to buy a sword. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? Maybe later. Um. Show me your goods. I could probably sell you some, right? Would you like to buy this? Have you got armor for me as well? Well, I'm sure that I can satisfy you. Back. Show me your, Show me your goods. Again. I am having so much trouble with this. Yes, yes, I should. I should figure out how the trade works in this game. Show me your goods. I need to know which button moves the item. Ah! 
Ooh. I wanna give you a lot of things. Until you will eventually be like... Yeah, sure, dude. Okay, 14. That's good, right? Yeah, I, I understand that now. It's what it was like moving things over that was a bit of an issue for me. I like to buy the sword. I'd like to buy a sword, yes. but not just a simple one. I have the money now. More ornamental. I have one you like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? I'll say I'm interested. Yes, I'll take it. I fear you don't have enough ore. I'll hold the sword back for some time, but don't wait too long. Maybe later. What? Show me your goods. Oh. God. That is so bizarre. There must be something about that story I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that was a mistake, but it's okay. I just I don't have anything super valuable on me. I just you know. When I get enough money to get this dude his sword. I thought that the thing on the side... Oh, thank you for telling me that! I'd like to buy a sword. Yeah, I want to get that sword I'd now. like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just gave him a bunch of free shit. Yes, I'll take it. You got a good deal here. Mud? No! Some people think i complete lunatic. But somebody like you would never hang out with a lunatic. People would talk about that, so they'll finally understand that they were wrong about me. Oh, Mud, please stop. I'm just delivering the sword to this fine fella over here. Fine fella. I have your sword. Wasn't too hard, was it? Whatever. You do me a favor, and I'll do you one. If Diego should ask after you, I'll speak in your favor. Until then, Aww, thank you. have a good time. You're my best friend here. The others only want to get rid of me all the time. I'm really grateful to you. If I leave the camp, will you stop following me? Because now I'm thinking that it's preferable to be going out and getting the bug me from the outside than it is to try and find some over here when you're following me around. I doubt um. Some people never learn. Listen, this running around is really getting tiring. Shouldn't we look for a cozy place and <laughs> get comfy like somewhere? Not with you! I thought okay, they're just diggers. I want to see that meat thing, right? Was it outer or inner? By the castle wall. Okay, so inner. So so that way. The <laughs> worst. <sighs> So you're saying that they will blame him off? 
doing the sexy things. Hey, newcomer. I'm Mordrag. You should remember that name. You can buy any kind of goods from me at a cheap price. Thank you. Show me your goods. Show me your goods. Choose something. I want to move my chat window. That will be absolutely impossible. The control is also in. No. Control does things in the game. Makes it a bit ridiculous. Plate, pick log, essence of healing, red. True. I don't know why I would. You don't have any meat, bro. What kind of seller are you if you do not sell meaty bugs? And I don't want to be so mean to a guy that I will just off him for just wanting to keep me company. But at the same time, he is really annoying. You're like a big brother to me. I never had a big brother or a small one. I can see why. They didn't want me. But I'm sure it was difficult for them. Sure it was. Your parents had you and they were like, oh, for God's sake. I should... Let me... I've been thinking I should about have that just ore. enough ore. ore. You've made the right choice, man. I'll protect you from now on. Let me pass. Where are you from? You must be happy as well that you finally found somebody who understands you. I'm from Carinas. Have you ever been there? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, I am so glad to having met you. That looks very abundant. That looks like proper abundant, but alas, alas, it had no, no bugs in it. I swear I am hearing them. Ooh! Have you got something to eat for me? Since I'm some sort of visitor, it'd be polite if you gave me something. That's matters. My friends in Karina's taught me that. They really liked me. I have a axe to pick with these bugs. Ooh. You think anybody's ever gonna visit us? Probably not. They wouldn't get out of here again, would they? Can you just shut up for one minute and let me loot the meat bug? Okay, so that is two meat. Eh. Eh. I navigated away and now I don't know what I'm doing. I will- I will loot another one just for myself. Now that you're with me, we can show a few people where to go. These bastards have been harassing me for years. When I see one of them now, I'm gonna tell them a few things. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a few things. First one is, shut up! Um. Here we go. Rusty Torchy Cakes. That's the dude that's doing arena stuff again. I wanna find the dude that stood at the cauldron. That wasn't very clever. Ooh, that's a water bucket. Dude! Dude! Yeah, dude! I have the th yeah, I have your things. I have the things you wanted from me. Good. I just have to add them. Then the stew will be ready. Wait. Waiting. 
You gotta do the adding or not. Is this two ready now? Is this two ready now? You told me I could have as much stew as I wanted. And that's true. Here, take three portions. Thank you. Aw, you're nice. You give me lots of stew. Okay, so what's left? So we didn't fail any missions, which is good. He last saw Nick when he went to gather mushrooms. I think what, that is something we can do, right guys? We can go back to the mushroom gate. Just sit further that way. And then we can look around for Nick or Nep. Or whichever that guy is, as long as it the starts two with The us are a dream team. We could take over the old camp. The Ore Barons wouldn't be a problem for us since we're a team. I'll think of a plan. You do that, kid. You do that. You think of all the plans, so I'm just gonna go around doing favors to nice camp people, right? Let me pass. I, I don't want to ask why doesn't he collect Tell some me, more protection. where are we going? Or is it supposed to be a surprise? <laughs> I like surprises. We're going back to the mushroom field, dude. To the mushroom field. To the mushroom field. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this actually tells me the time, which is quite useful. So it's nearly evening. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. That's well, it kind of is evening, isn't it? I never saw what the game looks like when the sun goes down, and I kind of want to see that. Even though I know it's not very safe. And it's kind of funny how every time when I run past the building, the shadows go a bit crazy. But it's okay. If I remember correctly, this is the exit, right? And it leads to the mushroom field. I don't think... You... Haven't you seen... The guy whose name starts with men? Haven't you seen him? Some birds! That almost looks like a trap, but no, it's just some fruit in front of a branch. That looks like loot. And a fireplace. Could it be the guy that went to collect mushrooms before? I have no idea! Why would you, you know, create a camp for collecting mushrooms that are like right outside? You know? Up the... How is it called? The town? But... It's not for me to judge. I'll, I'll pick everything up, because I can. Close this chest. And we're off just scouting the area. Oh, the dude that went out collecting mushrooms. Whoever that is, I do not like. So I'm a, I'm a save. And let's see, can I fight which I don't like? Still with a pickaxe despite having some swords, but never mind. Oh! Um, the answer is no. That is the reason why you save. Oh! Wait! Did I press load or did I. 
Oh, damn you. The kingdom of Murtana. Load. Yes. <laughs> not new. Load. There we go. Let's not touch that lizard ever again. Pretend that we have never seen him. And I'm pretty sure I kind of know what happened to that guy. For all I know, he's over a bridge over there. So I'm gonna just try and walk around the lizard. And yes, if you do not have enough experience or strength, you will do zero damage to things. And it's something that I have read up on. So I knew that. I knew that. This looks like a forest, but it also looks like it's flat. I like some more birds over here. How far could he have gone searching for mushrooms? Hmm. Alright, strength 5, 5, 10. I can still wield rusty sword, I'm pretty sure. How about we select this instead? Right? These things just restore life. They must not be open, so we will not. We still have some ore and some bug meat. And that's that's what my inventory. Um and a five strength ten out of ten. Like forty out of experience four sixty, next level five hundred. That means that I can actually wield this one. Right? Yeah. Cool. Bravo. try attacking the dog, but I think that it may end as well as attacking a lizard did. Oh! Yes. Okay. Not touching that. Let's do a load. Let's load here. Thankfully, we don't have to load far away. I have no idea what to do with the mushrooms happen to him. I literally don't. It's like... He probably just died. To a lizard. Probably ask other people about him. I mean, he did... He did pass this territory. And I'm pretty sure I can kill these birds. Because I have done so before. Oh. <laughs> oh god, that scream! That scream! Um, I will learn dodging one day. I promise. Did we just attack just one of those birds? Hmm? One. Then I can, like, level up and everything will be honky-dory, right? Yeah, never mind! Never mind that great scream of death. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
Oh, whoopsie. I put my sword away like a moron. Do not do that. Do not put your sword away like a moron. Hold your sword up and press action plus... Yeah, probably is how I block. I know how I dodge. But at the same time, I can't just kill one of them just fine. As long as it's not two of them. Come here. That is... You make such a horrible noise. Apparently not. No, I can't. That's interesting. I swear I bashed one of you to death before. Maybe we should try blocking, and maybe we should, like, s s try saving in front of the birds so that I don't repeatedly run over here. For that sounds to be, you know, like a good idea. Okay, so our birds are over there. <laughs> You're saying that you can't just, you know, scum a fight? No way! Bird. Nope, that's not how you block. That most definitely is not how you block. At least we know now. Run, 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 run. Fuck you, bird! Fuck off! Uh, A W S D? Oh, thank god, you fucked off. <laughs> you win this round, giant ball chicken! escaped I want to eat some food dudes yeah I will I will in a in a second as long as I can eat some food and save for I killed the dude meaning I got a level up which is important right and now so this is attack this is attack. This is attack. Oh, uh, S is block. Okay. What's a lizard in that pot? Oh my, you're killing the lizard. I will leave you to it. We just collect all the meat that we got. Then let's eat some berries again. Wait, is that lizard now dead? You killed the lizard. Oh, yes! Oh no, it didn't drop anything. Well, that's a shame. 
That's just some birds. We already checked the chest. Okay, so it's safe to say that the dude either fucked off to the new camp or died. Yeah, I kind of got how to like strike forward stuff. <laughs> it's my favorite this direction. I think it probably matters a lot more when your opponent isn't a bird. I would assume anyway. What was that? Oh, there's there's like a dude over here. If we asked him, maybe you saw the dude that went for mushrooms. Hey you! Who? Me? No, your grandmother. Who else could I mean? I wouldn't go down that way if I were you. Why not? You can't have been here long. Man, that's the way to the orc land. Ooh. They'll make mincemeat out of you. Oh, you're welcome. Can I talk to you? No. So you haven't seen a dude named Neck, have you? Or Neck. Or any of the N-words. There's the friendly guards that killed the lizard. Did you see it, dude? Where? Look up where? Yeah. Is there something I'm missing? But keep it to yourself. Let me pass. Okay, so Let you, me pass. you don't know what you want. That wasn't very clever. Oh! I don't really know how to look up, by the way. Yeah, sometimes it like flashes up. It's yeah. funny, I can't capture this game in like in regular capture mode. Because normally you use game capture. Well, if you do, that storm is on everything, all the time. <laughs> Which is interesting, right? Because it's not in game. So I'm capturing this as a window. What kind of quests do we have? So there's the vanished guard, right? <laughs> and there's the test of faith. The last of the North Gate. To the left of the North Gate. This is the South Gate. I think there's only two gates. I might be a lot less confused now. I remapped those to WSD. Hello, Shadow. If there's only two gates, the north is opposite the south gate. And this should be fairly easy. So, because I already ran in a circle. Graham. Okay. We're looking for a dude called Graham. None of you are Grahams. At least if I run around at night time, mud seems to stop following me. Nice. He shouldn't be. 
Do I go through the gate and then turn left? Wasn't very clever. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the fair. Okay, to the left of the north gate can mean two things. So that means that I enter through the gate here, right, and go left over here. Which is reasonable, so I'll try this first. But it can also mean that I go outside of the gate and then turn left. That is like somebody else's bed. Yeah. Bed. That's the digger, that's the phantom. That's Fletcher. You might be right, I should just try turning right instead. <laughs> Directions are hard, and sometimes games get confused. I remember going on a quest in Morrowind and I went all throughout the map in the direction that it was indicated it's gonna be at. It wasn't there. When I went to the wrong direction, that's where it was. You seem important. We probably met. Are you the dude that punched me? You might be the dude that punched me. Well, either way, you seem completely adamant to not speak with me. Well, that's Graham. Hi, I'm new here. I'm Graham. I draw maps. I haven't seen you here before. What do you want? A map. Diego sent me. He asked you to give me a map with a route to the old mine. No problem. For you, only 20 ore. Oh! I'll return. Now I have to go and find the marketplace person and sell him shit again. Some people never. Oh! You gotta watch what you tell Some people, as long as I'm. <laughs> I knew here, I'm Graham. <laughs> One of the diggers seemed to be playing guitar. That must be fun. Butcher. <gasps> Wait, you told me that you that I can do that, god damn it. <laughs> I didn't have to run all this way to get rid of my shit. I hate running all this way to get rid of shit. What? I doubt that's ever. It was all You're very so proud of You're in trouble. I'm not listening to all that. That's not really my problem. Oh, were you good? There you were. I'd like to buy a map. Sure. What are you thinking of? The more you can see on a map, the more expensive it is. Okay, how about I'll add this? Yeah. And and you can have my extra torches if you want. I'm not selling you my ore. That would be really stupid. I like my pick lock. I think that may be useful. Do I like some gear?
What about some orc leaf? Some of that. Wait, Graham does not have any money. If I would buy this map, would it actually have the mines? Does this thing have the mines? And would quest count it? Oh. Well, that means we need to find the proper guy that has some ore on him. Scroll down a bit on what? I don't think that I'd he like does. To buy a map. Sure. What are you thinking of? The more you can see on a map, the more expensive it is. Oh, now he has... Oh, there we go. Now you have a lot of stuff. Okay, let me give you all my junk for that. I should have that map now. Ooh. So like, we came from the top, top, top bit. The top, 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 top bit. Right. Yeah, so all I have to do is, like, get out of the north gate and then go through the path that I didn't take. Okay. I can do this! First, I wanna... Oh, I can't use your bed now, that's unfair. Okay, fight. Hey, you. Yes? Are you talking to me? I'm warning you, people like you can get into trouble awfully quick around here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. <laughs> Wasn't very clever. Uh, why not? Why not? How much ore were you thinking of? Not much. Ten ore, that's all I need. I think I have immediately, like... Here's your ore. I, I can always use a friend or two. You I seem don't... to be a clever lad. From now on, we'll be watching out for you. But I that don't... doesn't mean to say you can do what you like around here, okay? Like, I don't mind paying don't them off if they will think higher the camp, of me. We'll be looking out for you. As long as they're, like, not my enemy, but my friend. I think that's... Yeah, they've been very polite. That is Diego's house, right? And this is Diego's bed. Be 
Yeah, I wanna sleep until morning. No way are we going out for that camp until we're rested. And if we can't kill anything on our way to that camp, right? Then we're gonna like kill some things and then come back here, get some skill points, and then head out again. what I wanted to do. I'm trying to figure out how do I pick up, put away the torch. The one torch that I've been carrying around since the start of the game. Um. What level do you think I should be to enter the mines? Pay attention to me. I'll stay with you. Don't worry. I am so tempted to just drag you in here and kill you. You know that. Oh god, I got fucked by those. I got proper fucked by those. When did I last say? A minute ago. Well, I did the sleepy thing, which is good. I might want to engage things one by one. Don't pay attention to me. I'll stay with you. Don't worry. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought about, like, going out, killing some things to just get some levels and some XP points. But honestly, if he doesn't stop following me, he will be the first person that I kill for XP. I don't think it will even give me XP to kill him. Let's not pick up the torch again because I think I can see fine without it. Let's... We should eat in between fighting though. Even if that means that I'm gonna eat my whole inventory, that's okay, I can like hooks up some more meat back in the camp. What we do need is XP. I can check how much. Oh, a lot. Oh, I have 10 skill points! Wow! I did not know that I got more than one per level. That is pretty nice. I feel like I should pick up sword fighting from the dude that sells it for ore. I don't know what these are. Let me just save. Turn to mud. And chop mud to pieces. I think mud got stuck. He must have escaped into the other camp, guys! Oh. He must have escaped! He does deserve better, but it was really annoying me. So now that we got rid of mud... People may hate us really a lot. 
but I wanna, I wanna say, I wanna confirm that decision. Okay, I can attack those, but I will die to them. So I'm not gonna. Yeah, it's just like... We, we got really into finishing that. That will be a camp of some sorts. It has a dogo. I don't think I want to go that way. And before, there's more than one mud. Or in before, I'm gonna really regret that decision. I don't regret it right now. It was trying to talk to me in combat, for God's sakes. Come over here. Just one of you. Yeah, just just you. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. No bring the friend. No bring the friend. Right? Oh, you're insisting on bring the friend. Sad, no bring your friend. Oh god. I'm so gonna be dead. Or not. I'm fine. I'm here, piglets. <laughs> Mole rats. Um. Let me just replenish my health, right? Yes, right. Um. Where did the rest of them go? Did they drown? God oh, damn it, my XP bags died, guys. Oh, no, no, no. It's just that they're fighting with them. Okay, so you helped me kill the mole rats. I'm gonna save you. Put the damn weapon away. Sure, sure, I'm not- I'm not trying to attack you, I'm just- I'm XP farming, bro! XP farming! Um... Let me pass! I think I can loot one of them. But yeah, I do agree that I should be looting them because... Yeah, meat's good. Ooh. Let me loot everything. Including the things that you killed. All of them! <laughs> sure. We're gonna... We're gonna save once... The day Look, I wanna go out hunting! Creatures, okay? You Put that thing away! Well, there's wild things to kill, okay? Oh, that's why those died so easy. They were juvenile. I want to level up. And then we'll go and we'll see what kind of um, skill points we can have, right? That scavenger? Oh, yeah. And when we get some skill points, then we're gonna attempt to go to the mine. But that might be tomorrow. Either way, no way am I going in unprepared, right? Oh god, that scream! Ah. I 
come here. Come here, Screamo. He's better at fighting than I am. He's a bird. That checkerboat's strong, yo. Come on. No, I'm not dealing with you. You want to come to the guards with me? You're welcome. Thank you, guards. I'm only dealing with them, one at a time. More than one wanna come, then that's what the guards are for. Yeah, I wanna- I wanna eat. It shouldn't take us absolutely forever to level up, it's not like... I'm super far away and they do have one level already. We got Oh god, we might we might be actually quite far away from a level up. I do not wanna touch those. That doesn't sound like a wise decision. Whoa! Ooh! Oh no! Oh no 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 no. I wasn't prepared for you, bro. Now I am. Um, you mean from that, uh, dude that did the training for Arena? I think he wants like 50 skill points. Or was it 20 and 50 ore? I might just... I might go and check once I have 20 skill points, I have 10 right now. So I'm gonna assume that after the next level up- or was it 50 skill points? Don't just say yes! You'll confuse me. Yeah, 50 or 20 skill points, okay. I can do that. That's their hunting grounds. I did remember seeing something over that way, but I didn't approach. There are two birds on that island, but they're together. Yeah, I know! <laughs> but by the time you say yes, I'm like... Yes? This is where we came from. I wonder if I left anything that wasn't like a meat bug that way. I don't want to like just barge into somebody's hunting territory and I can't touch the lizards. It's nice to know that this like game isn't super massive now that I have a map. And again, they might not be seeing a lot on the map. Yeah, but they're like... Almost zero XP. I wanna see if there's anything big down there. Yeah, mole rats will do. I don't even know how to fight a goblin. Small rats would most definitely do, though. Well, I would probably know how to fight a goblin. I mean, you just fight it like everything else, but... As in, I never fought one. As a cauldron, but not fire. Fortunately. Nothing this way from the looks of it.
You mean here? Um... Here? Near the closed mine, you say? Oh! Oh, my jumping abilities. They'd be funny, yo. Here? <laughs> oh, maybe here. Oh, but that's like the funniest jump that I've seen in a very long time. I can see what you mean by conveniently st stepped. It is very conveniently stepped. Ooh, there's a flower. But I think I want to be on the other side. Oh! Okay, we're immediately screaming. Alrighty then. So we missed him. I didn't even know that you can climb this. There is a, definitely a mole rat. I can see that, I wish I was. I mean, I know that I have these two buttons for strafing and stuff. I just never got good at it. At some point, I will have to. But until that point comes, I'm just gonna scum my way through the combat. Because I am a scummy person. It is very obviously a secret, though. Well, not like a very secret secret, but like a place that not everyone will find. Oh, I thought that was a chest. No, oh, that was just a pile of wood. Oh, I see the goblin. annoying. Yay! Experience plus 80. That's nice. Because he didn't have anything. Just the club. Poor dude. Poor dude. Plus 40. See what we're at now. 1000. That's not too bad. We're only like 500 away now. 500 away until. Um, until I'm gonna go and get some skill points and stuff. So the rest of the session is essentially just going around and hunting things. Sorry. I know that I'm obviously not supposed to head this way. And I think, yeah, that's just a free fall. But... What the hell is that? Hmm. 
Not all fancy poof. Well, it's fencing a tiny bit of this, but if you would think that there's like a little fancy poo, then that there's like a path. I feel like I'm like platforming and I'm not supposed to. So jumping makes me fly. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. Ooh. Now I'll have all of these kind of dead sirs. And the chest. Oh my dude can figure out how to open it. Okay, now we can close the chest. Wait, will I actually need to platform? Because I am afraid of that day when the game will be like, Yep, mate, you need to platform. I think we have killed everything that's big this way, so we should head back. And maybe start aggroing like one part at a time next to those people with the hunting grounds and stuff? Yay, a hanged man! Maybe that's a good idea. Anna forgot where all the markets are. <laughs> Somewhere inside the city, and if I keep on going in circles, I will eventually run into it. And after I killed Mud, um, that should be easier to do. Unless, of course, they're like, you killed Mud, and then I will be like, oh no! Oh, you mean these dudes? Well, I don't know, maybe they're gonna run into, like, to help me, but... This seems like the biggest population of birds. <laughs> ha! They didn't steal XP. Well, they killed the rest of them, but I still killed one! <laughs> and all the meat's mine. And yes, I am saving far too often, but it's better to save than to lose progress. Some games punish you for it. They're like, oh, you saved too much, then... You're obviously not too good at this. It's fair enough. Come here. Yeah! Come here! Not attacking you next to your horde. <laughs> And now I'm lugging it. You who guards! There's a bakar after me. Put the dead. Okay, I'm not about to attack you. I'm okay. I'm not listening to all that. I'm I'm just kind of afraid of the bakar that's following me. Keep it to yourself. People don't need to know it. I doubt that's ever likely to change. At some point, it might be a good idea to start, There's like, no cooking the meat that we have. You have to watch what you tell me. I wish that I could just make a fire. <laughs> eh! Eh! Oh, good to know. I did try pressing left and right, but not very consistently.
I'm running away again. Running! <laughs> you can pakao all you want. You Still running. Every time. Yeah, let's eat some raw meat. <laughs> Why not? I thought that be That's the only thing I have edible right now, so... Makes kind of sense to eat raw meat. And apparently I'm okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that worked pretty good. I kind of feel like we're playing a game kind of like Dark Souls. Where I am hunting birds in this little area. Because <laughs> I'm all like, let me just go in and annihilate this place. I don't mind, this is kind of fun, it's just normally... I never had to do this like, before. And it's kind of funny because... These kind of games are like growing in popularity again, like you have Out Outward, which I still really want. Um, you have Dark Souls and stuff. And, and they're all advertising themselves like brutal old games sort of thing, you know. Yeah, I know, I'm just... I'm not very good at it. Trust me, if the combat forces me to, I will eventually learn it. I was learning Witcher stuff, like, far after I was actually supposed to learn it, because up until I can, like, scum it a bit. I just scum it a bit? Uh... Okay. Don't want to attack all three of them. What if we did just the bee over here? How far am I from the gate? Oh, I'm pretty close. That's that's okay. I'm just like preparing to. to... Nope, nope. I'm bad at the bee. Yeah, maybe I should actually try that. Oh. Those noises that they make, though. Oh, God. Maybe I should start by attacking the blood fly. <laughs> I mean, out of those three, maybe the blood fly should be like the first target. And let me just actually throw some health again. <laughs> yeah, true. Where are they? Swear was. Oh my god, did you just kill them all by yourself? Well, screw you, I'm not messing with you then. Yeah, they did. That's okay, I can see some mole rats. I spy with my little eye! A mole rat! This 
one's just like, fuck this, I saw my friend die, I'm not fighting you. And I'm like, but I'm fighting you! I wonder how long until somebody makes a game with this control scheme again and calls it modern. Ooh. I don't think I ever saw that before. Oh, I love the sound of the birdie birds. That's so nice. Our safe's coming again. Oh god. The one next to me was like attacking me, then the one that I was attacking wasn't so... Yeah, I, I did a bad there. Come on. Come on. Yes, c c c c Why are you guys just dodging them? I probably make quite funny expressions while while swinging. Um, if if a game requires too much concentration, I tend to start sticking my tongue out, which looks really weird. Um, okay, eat food. Food we must eat. Ooh. Don't wanna eat that. That looks like it's valuable. So let's eat quite a bit of raw meat, eh? After all, I'm mostly hunting meaty creatures. How far off are we XP-wise from leveling up again? Wait, what's that? That's like 40 XP! I need to find something that gives me 40 XP, for that matter, that isn't a fly. Oh boy. I might have annihilated the ecosystem. That's not good. I mean, there's a lizard, no way are we touching those. Don't want anything to do with those flies. Ah, there we go. Ecosystem's not completely dead! That fly was going somewhere with a purpose! Yay! How many points do we have now? Skill points, 20. I think we have enough to ask that guy for an upgrade now. Outside of the fact that we still need money, of course, but... Uh, my exit stopped working. That's bad. There we go. There was another menu open to the left. I didn't know what it was. Okay, let's just... Reliably come back, eh? Reliably come back into town. Cook some meat. Sell as many things as we can. Including half of the weapons that I'm carrying around. Because they're worse what I have right now, then... Maybe pick up, like, some new ones and get that skill. Town should now be quite peaceful without mud around. I didn't want to kill him, he kinda forced me to. I think there's a timer on my- yeah, it's like 3 p.m. in this game. 
Hi guys! I'm back from my training! I killed half the forest! I hope you're okay with that. I don't think that they're gonna mind that much. That's my torch. I somehow don't feel like carrying around the lit torch anymore. It seems that even at night time I had pretty good visibility as it was. Hope you're not gonna be talking about how mud's gone! Please don't talk about how mud's gone. Guys! I need a store! That was the chef's house. Yeah, but once I selected it, it was gone from my inventory. Let's talk about something. You are not the storm, though you were standing in a very similar position. Whatever is happening to that coat. What's passing as I'm getting closer. Now, you must be special for your named guy. And that's... Hello. Hmm. I haven't seen you before. You're new here, aren't you? Just recently arrived. Have you already decided which camp you want to join? No. What do you think? Well, it depends. Each camp has its advantages, I guess. Until you've made your decision, you can stay here. A hut just became available. Oh. Why should I join this? Oh, I Which can, of the huts can I, I can take, take a hut. The hut over there with the little canopy is empty. Why should I join the sect? Well, you better ask somebody from the sect camp. There are always a couple of novices in the camp, and I'm sure they can tell you a lot about the sect. I've never been there myself, but according to everything that's said, they must be really generous. None of the three camps seems to be as much in need of new people as the sect camp. I, I'm gonna consider that because... God damn, these sound crazy. I like crazy. They're worshipping a god and shit, and it's like religious and shit, and, and I'm, I really want to poke my finger at that. What are the advantages of the new camp? If you're cool about getting your throat cut for a slice of bread, you should go there. No, it's not that bad, but it's different from here. Here, Gomez takes care that things are sort of peaceful. In the new camp, there is no law. The only ones powerful enough to have a say there are the water mages, but they're too busy studying the barrier all day. What are the advantages of the old camp? If you pay protection money to the guards, you can have a laid-back life here. They always interfere if one of the paying diggers is attacked. Besides, you can only get the goods from the outside world cheap here. These things are unaffordable in the other camps. Um, yeah, what goods are considered, what goods are considered precious? precious here? Everything from the outside world. Bread, cheese, and bacon, and above all, beer and wine. Not the cheap rice schnapps from the new camp, but really good stuff. You always get a good price for weapons, and armor is really expensive. The guards took the old armor off the prison guards after they killed them. You can always recognize them by their armor. They only sell it to other guards. You could never get a hold of one as an outsider. Uh, if... <laughs> if two people fight each other, who both pay protection money? <laughs> and what if two people fight each other who both pay protection money? Then the guards just watch until one of them kills the other. Then they do him in. I think I've heard enough about the old camp. I like it here. Okay, guy. I don't know why, but he sounds like Snake. 
I think like Metal Gear 3, I swear he has a very similar voice. But okay, we have talks with him now. I am just interested in finding the marketplace. Are you the one that asked for the sword? No, you're the one that doesn't collect protection money. Okay, this is the first time I'm seeing you. Looks as if you know what you're doing. You were doing. Nobody ain't complained yet, but that would be a bad idea anyway. Every idiot here needs a sword, and that is what they get from me. Uh, how's business? Well, Smith, how's business? Why would you want to know? I may have an order for you. Oh, really? And what? I'll think about it. Come back when you really need something, and don't get on my nerves. Okay, I'm not looking for employment right now. I'm just looking for the marketplace. I'm very bad at it, but I am looking for the marketplace. Maybe I should have taken the ladder. You look like you sell stuff. Oh no no, you're the you're the arena guy. God damn it, maybe in the marketplace is the other way around. If I just continue in the circle, I'll run into it eventually. I think. Can the guy that draws maps just draw a map just for me of just the main city? I mean, I know that it's circular in design and that this shouldn't be an issue. But it's being a little bit of an issue. <laughs> oh, yes! Well, that's very helpful. We have 40 meats to cook. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a fire. You're very probably right. Four. Five. Why can't they cook multiple at once? I mean, in my house I cook them multiple at once. Six. Seven. Oh! So this is considered considered cooking? That won't happen again, you think. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> that seems really retarded. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not insulting the game mechanic, just what I'm see what I'm doing right now seems very retarded. Hang on. Yeah, I think I cooked all of them. Yeah, I have 37 cooked meats. Ooh. Yeah, there must be some. Thanks for the tip. As in, not like money tip, but like actual tip tip. <laughs> Show me your goods. Show me your goods. Choose something. A torch or nugget, pick lock, healing bread, rice, arrow. How much... I guess do you have 11 from the looks of it? Let's talk about something else Move the chat again. Hey, you have 11 nuggets. I am gonna capitalize on that, my good sir. Okay, you think that that's worth 8 and that's worth 10. That suits me just fine. Very probably right. Yes, I would like to accept this. Yeah, 
I noticed. Oh, I think this is the marketplace. I mean, it has the big roofy roof. Because I didn't realize that there was a roof over my head. I was just looking for the fire pit. Me Show me goods. your goods. Hey, you have a lot of ore. That short sword is better than what I have. Farmer's defense is better than what I have. Lurker's bite is better than what I have. Thorpe of Wounds is better than what I have. Nicker's Disciple is better than what I have. I think first I'm gonna try and just trade for your nuggets because I need to level up. Okay, so I'm equipped with a rusty sword. I can give you my pickaxes, club, get a club, get a club, the arrows. I'm the rusty sword. I can give you all of that. And I will give you some beer. And this thing. And some mushrooms. And a seraphis. Let's talk about something else instead. Eh. Okay. I'll keep the arrows. I just want to buy a decent weapon off him. So how about I'll try selling some of my meat too. Okay, so now what I want from you, dude, is 50 nuggets and a weapon. Whichever I can afford. I now have 75 gold worth of stuff. Short sword? I can afford a short sword. Farmer's Defense I can afford. Lurker's Bite. Lurker's Bite I cannot afford, but I can make myself afford it. I am not gonna be affording Tharp's thing. So how about I'll do this. How about I'll give you a little bit more meat. Would you accept this? No, no, you wouldn't. Let's talk about oh, that's a shame. That was very clever. I need that for... I need that for the thing. There we go. I need that for my level up. What do you ah! intend to do with the weapon? Nothing! You're learning. I, I was equipping I was I was intending to equip it! <laughs> okay. There we go. You shouldn't believe everything in here. Thank you. Ah! Nothing! So you do Yes! I do know what's good for me. I just I just I, I'm really bad at equipping things. I don't want to kill you. I'm happy that I'm grasping trading now. I'm kind of unhappy that I gave a bunch of free shit to people before. This is a man named Shadow.
You train Do you fighters. train fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for fun. If you want me to train you, you'll have to pay for it. Oh, it's only 10 skill points. Oh, cool. I have that. I want to improve my handling of one-handed weapons. That's a good decision. Before you can improve your technique, you'll have to learn how to hold the weapon right. Beginners often tend to hold one-handed weapons with both hands. Now, don't even start getting into that habit. It'll do you no good. Hold the weapon with one hand, blade up, and keep swinging. You have to learn to harmonize your weapon's swing with your own movements. That'll make you faster in the attack. If you keep in mind what I've taught you, your fights will be more elegant and a lot faster in future. Oh yeah, one more thing. Some hits cause more damage than others. As a beginner, you don't stand much of a chance making critical hits. But the further you progress, the better you get. Yeah, thank you. Uh, how much does other lessons you train cost? Fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for fun. If you want me to train you, you'll have to pay for it. Okay, got it. I don't want to go out immediately. I want to visit Diego. Because Diego also does training, right? So, let's see. One-handed sword is now trained. So that's nice. And I do have two swords on me, so I could technically dual wield, right? I think so anyway, but I want to visit Diego. And I want to tell him to give me skill points and strength. Because strength seems to be important. Oh, do you think I should go for that instead of for strength? Hang on. Because then I'll try to save up for that instead. When do you think I should head to the mines as well? I'll just wait for you to give me all the answers. Hold it! What's up? You can't go in the castle. Beat it! I don't know where Diego is. Oh, there we go. Dude! Dude! Extra strength! Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. You shouldn't believe everything in here. Hang on. Let's do strength plus five. And then again. And that would have spent all of Your our Your strength has increased a lot. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. Okay. I will. Take care. You shouldn't believe everything in here. There must be something about... Let's you just exit the gate, find the first enemy that we can see. That's hopefully not a lizard. And try on attacking them, okay? Even if it's a bloody fly, we can still see, you know. Thing. There we go. Can I dual wield? Is that a thing? Whoops, whoopsie. Um. Oh. If I know how to use a sword one-handed, logic dictates that I should be able to use two swords. So that's sad cookie. Here's a fly, right? Oh, yeah! Oh, now that makes it nice. That makes it nice. But we're gonna stop here to today. And we're gonna try and get into those mines tomorrow. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll just save here.
Yeah, much better! And if we can't go into the mines immediately, we're probably gonna be doing like a little bit more grinding, then a bit of, you know, leveling. But I wanna get to those mines. So, thank you for watching. This game is nicer than I thought it was gonna be for me. And see you tomorrow, hopefully. Or at any other point. Yeah, thank you for coming.